so this is what became of my berries. Really didn't foresee that happening. I thought I'd come back and get some berries for sure today. This will be my first ever successful full-on fire made without a lighter. I think at least it's the first time I'm ever putting in real effort into finding proper materials and making it happen. Let's see how I do. I got uh, the cattail, a little wood platform, uh, some shavings, a little feather stick, and some dried grassy type stuff. So, I feel like with that, I've got to be able to do this. A lot of smoke. Oh yeah! Raging fire. I need more feather sticks. Okay. Well, I essentially was successful, but it was not prolonged. Rather short lived. Apparently, you gotta have some major wood ready to go. Punk wood is doing all right. There we go, baby. So that's how easy it is when you have the right stuff. And it's not like it was hard to find the right stuff. It's pretty easy. You know, the cattail is pretty uh, integral, it seems. So, okay, lesson learned. Tinder is one thing. If you got it, you can get your fire started. But if you really want a fire to get going and do something with it, you need to have a decent amount of 
wood surface area, like real ready to go, which means a lot of feather sticks. But all right, I'm gonna squelch this. And consider it a success. Just goes to show you what a little prep, how a little prep can help. Check out the core of the burned cattail. Cool, right? There's a chunk of sap up there that I'd really like to grab. I found a pretty long ranch here, but I don't think it's long enough. Oh, it's so close. I'm like five inches away. What am I going to do with that? Gooey. Maybe I can use that for glue or something? Who's the cool guy with the cool sap? That must be Jimbo in a cool hat. No, I'm freaking just wearing a wig. Just kidding, man, that's my hair and the twig.